Hello, I am back with Uber Chic Beauty's Yay Spring Plate. I'm going to quickly scroll through the plate so you can take a look at it if you just want a quick little view and then I'll talk about it. So this plate is uh, meant for spring, it's meant for Easter, it has those kinds of themes. I like that it has uh, some religious imagery and some uh, not religious imagery. You can go either way. So you've got um, some cute little crosses. You've got, um, this is like a crown of thorns, but it could also just be barbed wire. You know, so if you want to use it in a different way. Um, you've got some He is Risen and Happy Easter if you're celebrating Easter. Um, and then you have some lots of flowers, um, little church there, a little cute little bunny face, um, a little Easter bunny with a little basket, and Happy Easter done up in this cute little scroll work egg. It's adorable. So lots of bunnies of different types and lots of Happy Easter's. And there are a number of uh, images on this plate that she's done that you can either make, like, make your fingers into Easter eggs kind of thing, or you can create, like, fun little French tips like that, or fun little half moon manis like that. Um, this gorgeous filigree egg, first of all, could function as a full nail image like that. But then also, how pretty would that be for Easter, to have, like, Easter egg half moon manis like that? Ugh. Oh so pretty. So to have like one, um, a pretty pink pastel and then stamp that over in, you know, a pretty soft green pastel, that would be so gorgeous. You could fill up your nail most of the way and then just do the tip in a different color, go in and, and paint over that in a different color, uh, and have that end up looking like a little combination French manicure, half moon manicure. Gorgeous negative space image so that your beautiful hollow uh, pastels can shine through if you want them to. You, of course you can lead light this, of course you could make a decal with this. Lots of beautiful things you can do there. Uh, gorgeous lilies, gorgeous daffodil. And you can mix and match these at like different heights on your nail, uh, combine them. Um, maybe you have like your the lilies down below and the daffodils higher or just vary the lengths of all of them, have them on a couple of nails but not on other nails. So um, play around with that and that's one of the cool things about an image like this that isn't a full nail image. This gives you a lot more flexibility about you know where you want to put this or you could double triple stamp this in different colors and slightly different uh, heights and create a shadowed effect gorgeous. So you've got a, a full nail image here that's plenty big for however big your nails are and so that you can get a slightly different look on each nail. And then you've got all of these individual ones that these would be super easy and fast to make little decals out of and then you can put them like wherever you want. Um, so you could stamp this just like in tone on tone. Let's say you have a pink manicure, you stamp this in a slightly darker pink and then make these in different colors and put them on top over the pattern on your nail. That would be so cute, oh my gosh. Another little bunny, this is my favorite with his little glasses. He's the academic bunny, I like him. Uh, new life, happy Easter, this little heart with the egg, oh my gosh. So again, check out this pattern here and how easy that would make a gorgeous, you could lead light this, you could make a decal out of it, you could just stamp it, um, you know, like gold on white, especially for Easter, that's a classic kind of thing, or even a bridal mani, <gasps> that would be gorgeous in a bridal mani, but then you can get it just kind of going over the corner of your manicure, and that, I love that look, gorgeous, uh, faith, hope, and then this beautiful little bundle of like daffodilly kind of orchidy things there, same thing, play around with this, stamp it at different angles if you want to, double stamp. Um, this is great, you can do this as a full nail uh, image if you want to turn your nails into Easter eggs. Beautiful, beautiful butterfly, and I love this this butterfly here and this butterfly here, I think go really, really well together. So you could stamp just one of these and have the butterfly on top, or you could stamp you know, this on a couple of nails, but just have the butterfly on one beautiful. Egg hunt, this gorgeous little full nail image with like tulips, uh, very easy for um, single color stamping. Uh, you can also play with stripes of color in your stamping polish or this is the kind of thing that looks great in just white over a gradient or over um, like this is a smoosh mani where I've got different kind of colors all combined on and then you put something like this over it and the colors beneath it kind of play. 
little umbrellas and swirls uh, because of, you know, your rainy showers. But how cute also would this be for like a baby shower or a bridal shower? Adorable. Yay spring for everybody who's tired of the rain and the cold weather. And then oh, another cute little bunny. And these, I don't know the name of these flowers, but they're very delicate. Depending on the colors you use, they could be very, in pastels, they're very springy. In the summer, they could be very tropical, very Hawaiian. Um, and then this is, uh, we've got the more doodle pattern here and a little umbrella here to go with your umbrellas there and more of a chintz pattern, which uh, stamp color on color and then go in and maybe do like little dots for your centers. And then this gorgeous lily here that you can go in and you could make a decal with if you want or, you know, lead light or this would be really great for um, the watercolor technique with the Sharpie and you can play around and get um, a little bit uh, more intense color at the edges and a little bit uh, lighter inside and create this really um, beautiful wash of color over it. Okay, the full nail images here are about 1.7 centimeters wide and 2 centimeters tall. In inches, they are uh, just under uh, three quarters of an inch, uh, just over three quarters of an inch tall. Let me give you a quick shot next to the ruler so you can get a feel for how big um, those other little images are. You can see those are going to be really easy to fit on your nail. Same thing like with your little bunny guy here. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a tight fit on my nail. Slightly tight fit. All right, for my stamping test, I am going to use Sally Hansen Insta Dry Navy Fleet and my XL Clear Stamper. Beautiful image, beautiful transfer, gorgeous crisp line on that. Beautiful, perfect. Check that out. Very nice. Gorgeous. And look at those fine lines, even with the crystal stamper. Gorgeous. Gorgeous transfer. So this is excellent quality, and I will link everything down below. And thank you for watching.